Privateer by John Eckeroyd. John Eckeroyd was the only non-factory racer to ever win the 350cc Grand Prix Championship and defeating the powerful Kawasaki factory team. When you hear that, you must think that was something easy to do back in 1980. Reading The Privateer, you quickly realize that in that era, staying alive was a tremendous feat. Winning a championship was unbelievable. It was surprising that John even raced motorcycles, since he was strongly influenced by his uncle who raced cars and encouraged him to do the same. For some reason only known to us motorcycle racers, John preferred two wheels to four. And even though he started at a late age, he was very good at it. This book was written by John, and is very matter of fact, much like the man himself. You get to see his naivety on how someone gets to race Grand Prix and how through some luck and determination he gets to show his skills. He makes a few friends and unfortunately sees several of them die. This is the danger of racing in the 1970s. As he improves, he gets some help to further his career. He wins several races but is never considered factory rider material. That does not stop him as he has a small crew of mechanics and some help from several two-stroke tuners and frame specialists to make his private bike as good if not better than the factory bikes of the time and it would all come together in the 1980 season. This was a great book to read about a time of racing when there is still little information about what was really going on. I found it very hard to put down and enjoyed reading every single page. This book is only available in hardcover and it can be difficult to find, but I'll leave a link in the description for it.